Uh, but I guess it's about time we talk to your buddy Valentine, eh? I gotta find out what happened to Sean. Hey, kid. Father What's up? Ray is dangerous of the Commonwealth to find missing son. Public is here to pull the wool out from under your eyes. Hey, Nat. Read the paper, mister. Trust me. Okay. The super salon can give you the hairstyle of your dreams. Thanks, but I like my hair the way it is. Stop by the mega surgery sometime. Maybe I should just... Go. No, thanks. Leave. Might be better than going to sleep every night wondering if I'm gonna be there when I wake Swatters, up. Leave the right wall? Here. What are you, mess? Go. You wouldn't that last an hour. I'll take my chances right on here. this side of town. You okay? So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a new Coca Cola. Hey, you're that vault dweller. I'm from the paper. Yeah, hi. Hey there. You read the paper? Damn sense. Hiding among us. Okay. Sorry, dude. I don't have any new pull. If I find any, I'll bring you some, right? Yeah, care cares about you. All your medicinal needs. We okay. got small Where arms, the hell is long this arms, ammunition. Hey, swatter, swatter, swatter can hit. Boom. Yeah. Hey, you were in the paper, right? You're 200 years old? Looking pretty good for your age, huh? Mm-hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have given that interview. I'm not so sure I like so many people knowing who the fuck I am. You here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. You keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know... If you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team, professionals, the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners, and of course there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. 
Those early model synths of theirs stripped whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two? Should still be careful. I always am. Hmm. They're ten years old, eh? Could still be Sean. I did get refrozen after they took him. Fuck only knows how long I was asleep. All right, let's come on. Let's go back. Let's do this. I uh, didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance, bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. <laughs> Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Yeah, he's a merc, though. Who is he working for? Can't see a merc wanting a kid for their own sake. Keep an eye out, will you? Yeah. See if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Me? Man, I don't even know if I can pick that. Won't be able to pick this. I can't pick that. Hey, Valentine. No luck? Guess we'll need to find a key. Stubborn lock, ain't it? See that platform in the distance? The city entrance? Mm -hmm. That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can G this lock. You really think the mayor's gonna tell me anything? All right. Let's go, I guess.
something about this just screams bad idea. I, I don't really have any other choices, I guess. Typer? See up there, I guess. Good view, I guess. receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? So I can just head in and talk to McDonough? Go right ahead. His office is open. He likes to make time for everyone when he can. You're a little on the shiny side, lady. Well, there's something about this town making me as paranoid as everybody else here. Is this the mayor's office? Or is he back there? That's back there. No funny business around the mayor. Got it? Yeah, yeah. Trust me, if I was going to do it into the mayor. <laughs> ah, I... yes. I remember you, mm -hmm. our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. Oh, of course. I... I will do everything in my power to help you overcome this horrible personal tragedy. I remember Mr. Kellogg. Didn't like him myself. Paranoid. Never talked to anyone. I doubt you'll find him. But I insist you take the key to his old house. It's been abandoned, though. I'm afraid this whole thing might be fruitless. Uh -huh. Still don't trust you. Yeah, I'm gonna look around though, if you don't mind. Um. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Nice paintings, I guess. What's in here? Nothing. Nope. Nothing. Kind of a lot of office space there, buddy, for no staff. Don't mind me. Need something, honey? How's no. It? No, I don't need anything, thanks. I do want to know where this goes. Really? The only elevator in the Commonwealth that has elevator music. I guess it's not bad. Where the fuck are we going? This seems an awful long way down. It didn't take this long to get up here. God damn it. I should have brought Piper with me. Uh. Well, that's weird. You're asking you shall receive, I suppose. Oh, well, well. Hmm. Okay, well, this isn't where we're going. Come on, Piper. Piper. Hey. Shoot. Over here. That's the plan. Damn it, woman, don't ignore me. <laughs> Alright, screw it.
on that one? Oh, uh, you're a crazy woman, but she says I thought she was gonna jump. You gotta teach me that sometime, Viper. Wakes up after 200 years. Hey, who wants to look beautiful? Hairstyles from across the Commonwealth. No, Why buy just an ordinary piece of wood? A swatter is a custom made piece of genuine hickory. Well, Valentine, old boy, Mayor was surprisingly, surprisingly cooperative. Got the key? Yeah. Right. Let's head in. Must have left something behind. Mm. Yeah, but did he leave anything useful hmm. for it? What's that for? Making shit. What do you think? Place seems small to you. Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Yeah. Well, if he's a you guys are weird. If he's a mercenary, he's probably got a few small houses. Nothing here. Did you check out that desk? Just give me a sec. I'm telling you, something's not right. Look yeah, for anything out of sorts. A switch. A button. Oh. Oh, hey. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Mm hmm. Still doesn't answer any questions. Well, look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Well, looks like I can give dude some nuclear cola. That'll make him happy. Okay, this guy seems to prefer energy weapons. Okay, Valentine. So, what did we get out of this? Well, it's over here. Gwinnett Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlight. Mm, interesting brand. It won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Any suggestions, Nick? Hmm. What about dog meat? Commonwealth mutt like him can track a man's scent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. Can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. And he's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him. Or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. Goodbye, Nick. Hopefully not forever. I want to see you and your kids safe and sound when you get back. Good luck. Anytime you need help, just come knocking. Hmm. Making friends all over the place. Well, Piper, let's go back to the gas station. I gotta get dog meat. <laughs> well, that was fast. Hey, dog meat, are you psychic now? Here, dog meat. Share. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy? Oh, 
Got me. There you go, man. You got my right good. Piper? Oh, badass. I got both my buddies with me. Good to be back in Diamond City. I'll need your nose to track Kellogg, boy. Heard you rescued Valentine. Yeah, thanks. No time. Gotta go, gotta go.